Hello my dear students, welcome to Baidu's exam prep. Hope you guys are fine and guys in today's daily dose, I'll be telling you the difference between diversion head work and storage head work. So generally people think somewhat they are same and somewhat they try to take out the meaning from the names. But what is the actual difference? Let's check it out. So guys, if you don't know about me, first of all, you can go through my profile and this daily dose is coming both for mechanical and civil engineering students. Come on guys, now let's start. Okay, now you already know about dams. So dams is a barrier or you can say an obstruction which is constructed across the width of the river. Like if this is a river which is flowing, so the dam is constructed across the width of the river. Now the next question which comes into action that we store water on the upstream side of the dam and you call that as a reservoir. But is dam a storage head work or a reservoir or basically called dams or reservoirs. So whether it is a storage head work or diversion head work. So let me tell you dams are storage head works. These are storage head works. Okay. Now, when you talk about storage headworks, now, why there is a need to construct storage headworks? Instead, if you would have constructed diversion headwork like weir, or you would have constructed a barrage. So, what happens? First of all, they are diversion headworks. So, what happens? You just construct it and you divert the water into the, divert the water into the canal. Into the main canal, then from main to branch, branch to major, major to minor, and so on. So you could have diverted the flow of water. Why there is a need to construct a dam whose costing of crores and crores of rupees? So the reason I'll tell you. See, generally you construct. Now this is an interview question. Generally you construct diversion headwork in those places where there is sufficient amount of water in the river all throughout the year so there is nothing like uh, whenever there is a summer season so the level of water in the river will decrease no so when that is a perennial river you can say it is flowing so it's better that instead of going for storage headworks go for diversion headworks in diversion headworks you just divert the flow of water into the canal but if you talk about storage headworks storage headworks you don't divert the flow of water just as the name suggests you store the water then now what we do see we store the water and as far uh, as how much is required as far as how much is required that much amount of water is being supplied in addition we use it for the hydroelectric power for inland navigations and there are additional added advantages of using storage headworks but then you will say that if there are so much advantage why there is a need to construct diversion headworks i always told you Whenever you talk, everything we want to be superior, but what we want, we also have to take care of the cost. So, construction of uh, dams requires n number of factors to be considered and the topmost of it is the economy, the money. Okay, so wherever the river is not perennial in nature, where the water will not be sufficient all throughout the year to meet the needs of the people or, or the, to meet the needs of the farmers, that places we construct dam so that water can be supplied from the canal to the so that is the difference when you talk about storage headworks generally you construct it in a non-perennial rivers because to store the water when you talk about diversion headworks generally you construct it in a perennial rivers so that you can just divert the flow of water into the canal okay so that's the basic difference between dams and weirs and barrage which are the diversion headworks so that's all for today guys and for more amazing videos subscribe to baiju's exam thank you everybody